talk about sushi, you may think that the really critical thing is the fish and the shellfish, which of course it is. But those of you who made sushi at home realize it's easy to cut a nice piece of fish. It's difficult to make the sushi rice. And uh, rice is a grain, and here is, is a grain. It has the structure like other grain. And the rice you use for sushi is a particular kind of rice. And, and, and a little uh, while, um, Morisan is going to tell you about what kind of rice should you choose. Now, if you look inside this rice, and the part of it you use for sushi, which is actually the milk part, is only the uh, inner part here, maybe 60% or 70% of the rice, it's mostly starch. And that's why rice keeps for a very long time, because there's very little fat, there's very little proteins. And of course, there's also a lot of calories, because it's, it's, uh, it's starch. If you look inside the rice, um, you have little granules that are only sort of uh, um, f from three to eight microns, or three to eight thousandths of a millimeter big. And um, in the dry state, they really like little crystals. And what is happening when you cook the rice, you add some water, and the water sort of absorbs to the rice, and they swell. And the real secret behind the sushi rice is that when they swell, they, these little grains are not supposed to break, because if they break, you get the kind of rice you use for porridge. So there's a layer of proteins around here, and that actually distinguishes the different kinds of rice.